Are there any other strategies around creating other sources of income that you could talk about? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we always, I've touched on this already, but a diversified plan with your finances is always the best way to be. You don't want to have all your eggs in one basket. That is an age old saying, and it is totally applicable to everything you should ever be doing. People talk about property investment. It's a and it's an investment that frankly has worked out very well for our parents' generation. We are seeing policy at the moment coming through the government because of the tax debt uh, situation that our country is in, you know, they're going to start tightening the reins. Um, probably taxing people more. I mean, on you know property investment and other forms of investment like that, where frankly they could you know just get hold of you. Yeah. So that's you know, but that is another form of income. If you can afford to do that, fine. But don't overexpose yourself. Maintain your liquidity. You know, I've seen the amount of people I've seen who are asset rich and cash poor is alarming. You know, they may have many millions in property, but they can't afford to put the heating on. Um, is and that a situation? That is seen? a situation we've seen a few times, and <laughs> that comes back to you know your attitude of what you're actually trying to achieve here. What is your outcome? You know, some people get very, very um, property rich, and it's particularly true of our je- parents' generation because they did very, very well you know, in the boom times. You know, we'd all love to have those boom times again, um, but sadly, the reality is I think it's going to be more difficult for our generation for all the reasons that we all know. Um, so yes, you should always try and diversify all your sources of income. But I think the best way that I've seen for some of my best clients um, and people I almost see as role models as well, if I look at them and as I see, you know, what have you done in your life that's made you so successful? The best people I've seen for diversifying their income run businesses. They are themselves directors like you, uh, Danny. You know, they run businesses and they have that leadership. Um, they've developed that leadership quality about them. And they run businesses because that is another source of income. That is your passive income. If you can develop yourself as a person that you have a skill set and then you can market that and set up your own business, that is a very strong position to be in. Probably the strongest. I mean, property is a good position. If you can afford to have lots of assets, wonderful, fantastic for you. Just keep it in perspective with the rest of your portfolio because you don't want to go overweight too much one thing. You don't want to have millions in property, find out you have loads of mortgages which are just complicating your mind. You can't write it all down on one page, so you're just complicating everything. That's going to have an effect on your mental health because you're going to be constantly going around being a bit stressed with everyone. Um, But you want to keep it simple. And the simpler you can keep it, yeah, property, fine. But if you can run your own business, that is some of our best clients have majored in that. But what they've also done is they've made it more of a lifestyle business. So you talk about passive income. They invest in this asset, which is their business, but they run it as more of a lifestyle thing. They've got their targeted employment, which they do, you know, and do very well, but then they're running other businesses. And that is something, if you if you can do that, that is a real wealth producer from what I've seen. What do you mean by lifestyle? Uh, well, literally, they don't have to. They've got someone in to manage it. They've right, built up the bit. Obviously, there's a hell of a lot of input yeah. in starting a business, as you guys will well know. You know, there's a lot of input you need to put in to build that business so that it gets to a point where you can then hire someone in to manage that business for you. And that, frankly, then almost runs itself. It's a really good saying um, I got told years ago is don't work in your business, work on your business. So instead of rather being, you know, when I add my shops and different stuff, a lot of the times I'll be in there working and you, you can't really see what you're doing from inside. You've got to pull yourself out. from the tree out. stuff, yeah. yeah. You've got to pull yourself out and then look at the business from the outside in. Hmm. The most successful clients I've got are those people who've been able to step back and just look wood from the trees. What are we trying to achieve here? Yeah. What am I trying to achieve? Equally, they take the same attitude with us when we help them. They say, look, with all due respect, Simon, you know, you know what you know. Um, I'll just take your advice, but I can see that it looks sensible from the all the scripture you're giving me. You know, they are very good and very direct at what they do. And that's what I'd say to anyone looking at passive sources of income. Yes, property is a good one. If you can do property, if you've got the skills to maintain it and go in there at midnight when your tenant says the plumbing's split and all the rest of it and sort all that out great you know some people absolutely love that and i don't again that to anyone um just be aware though it's very costly um and cost is a key point with all of this process that you need to look at you know obviously there are legal costs with property and everything else but you know there's costs in everything so if that works for you proportionally great another source of income but if you can run your own business and do so successfully and a manner that you're talking about there where you can step back let someone else manage the business chip in when you need to 
that is what some of my most successful clients um, financially, if that's what motivates you, not, not everyone's motivated by, you know, having loads of money. People just want to be positive and have that financial freedom in their own eyes, peace of mind. But if that's what motivates you, it gets you out of bed every day, it's a great thing to do. And that's what I've really seen successful people do. Yeah. So that's a good passive way of getting income because you're investing in an asset. You're effectively investing in yourself. Mm. Yeah, I think sometimes passive income becomes a bit of a false economy, doesn't it? Because mm. people think it's literally you do nothing can earn money. Yeah. Well, instead of you know, it's instead of, instead of act in investing, you know, in potentially liabilities that might detract from your situation, you're trying to look for assets. Yeah. You're trying to look for things that over the longer period of time. Mm will enhance your position rather than cause risk or yeah. potential harm. 